Hello and welcome to the Pulse of Spokane. I'm your host, Ryan Meza, and I'm joined with two very special guests today. I'm joined with Tyson West and Jana Roberts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Definitely. You guys are from Adult and Teen uh, Challenge, and you guys are a faith-based um, recovery program that kind of attacks addiction on a spiritual um, front and platform. You guys kind of provide that program for people dealing with addiction. Um, how's that been going for you guys right now during COVID? Well, you know, uh, with addiction, there's a lot of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. And so now we have this pandemic going on. There's increased hopelessness. Yeah. So people need help. People are turning to drugs and alcohol to cope. And uh, we're there to, to help them. Yeah, most definitely. And I know, especially, is there like a age range that you guys deal with? I know it's adult and teen, but what's your guys' age range for in your program? So our campus, the Spokane Men's Campus, uh, we're an adult male center so 18 to 60 plus okay gotcha and i know you guys kind of have the goal like you kind of said people are a little bit of hopelessness during this time and your goal is to kind of provide hope um within a reach of people that are trapped in that addiction yeah and i know you guys usually have a gala during this time of year um trying to just to get down sorry to get donations and like fundraise um for your program and i know that's not happening this year just due to covid um what are you guys doing now instead so the mission of our gala is we want to really celebrate the previous year, celebrate what's going on at our program, celebrate transform lives, and put hope within reach. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hopelessness in the world, and we want to share really what's going on in our program. And, uh, and then also hopefully raise funds to, to support the ministry as well. Um, this year it's a little bit different because we can't have a gala. We can't mm -hmm. have that many people in the room. We can't have a, have a meal. So what we're doing, we're doing a, it's a hybrid event, and I'll let, allow... I'll let uh, Jana share this, but it's called Night of Focus. Yeah. And so it's going to be, um, we'll have a live portion of it. So we'll have a certain amount of guests that can come to the event. And then we'll have, we'll also have it uh, uh, on air on Facebook and, and YouTube as well. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And so I know like the Hope Gala kind of celebrates what you guys have done in the program. The Night of Focus um, is something new you guys are doing just due to COVID and all that. Um, what can people expect with the Night of Focus? So it's really trying to be a little bit more refreshing than just pulling our event online because that's mm -hmm. what a lot of places have done is just, okay, we're going to try to recreate exactly what we do year in and year out, but do it in a virtual format. Mm -hmm. And from what I've seen, it just doesn't come off in the right way. So we kind of just made it where we're postponing the Hope Gala. That's yeah. going to be 2021, come back together, have a huge celebration. Awesome. So we switched up and we're doing a night of focus. So we actually were able to have Mike Lindell of My Pillow deliver okay. our keynote speech. Awesome. Um, we have a videographer that was able to go down and interview a father-son team that has, he's been out of the program almost two years. Wow. And so okay. um, they, the videographer was able to travel to kind of their family cabin and so it's really bringing into focus what our program is about, the longevity of it, mm -hmm. and building off of those pieces to really kind of be more of a beacon of hope, a beacon of light yeah. in the storm that we're in, while also promoting our silent auction, which is open through the Sunday after the event. Mm -hmm. And that showcases a lot of our um, talent in the campus. We have student paintings, woodwork, oh, wow. awesome. different things like that that have kind of kept our guys busy through this yeah. year. Definitely. And you mentioned you guys doing a silent auction. Um, what else is there going to be during the event? So the event itself is formatted where, um, like Tyson said, we have a very limited number of in-person guests that could come. Okay. Um, for those, it'll be um, basically from 7 to 9. We'll mm -hmm. open the first half hour with just kind of a, an hors d'oeuvre light gathering beforehand, and then they'll be ushered into the sanctuary of the church where oh, we'll cool. actually okay. stream the live event. So they'll be able to see the onstage stuff in person, and then yeah. um, the pre-recorded video will play for them on the screens. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then afterwards, there's kind of just going to be about an hour long, just meet and greet, be mm. able to visit with the students, and kind of get a hands-on feel for who we are. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. That's a really cool experience and really innovative, especially during this time of how to make it more interactive as well. Yeah. Um, how can people get their tickets if they do want to attend in person? So the best way is actually to reach out to me personally. Okay. Um, I have to kind of honor the church and exactly how many people we have. So mm -hmm. um, my cell phone that people are welcome to call or text is 509-565-0151. Okay. Or they can also reach out by email. It's Jana.Roberts at TC 
pnw.com. Okay, awesome, perfect. And is there any price for the tickets? Not this year. Okay, That's perfect. Just, let me know you're let coming know. so I can we'll uh, let the, the church know. Okay, yep. perfect. That's really cool. That's yeah. going to be a really cool experience. And then if they wanted to participate online, if they're concerned about COVID exposure mm-hmm. or just unable to attend that night, uh, they can simply go to focus.tcpnw.com. That's got the online auction availability, and that's also where we'll be streaming people back to either the Facebook Live or the YouTube Live link okay. that night. Wow, awesome. You guys thought of everything. Try for sure. <laughs> I know, right? And then um, what is the date for this event? So it's October 9th, so a okay. week and a half, and it's uh, the in-person portion is going to run from 7 to 9, and the live streaming will actually go live at 7.30 and run until approximately 8. Okay. Thereabouts. Awesome. Perfect. You guys are doing great things. Thank um, you. Especially here in Spokane. I know a lot of people are very thankful for the work you guys are doing. Thank you. Is there anything else you guys want to add about what you guys are doing at all, or something we missed about your event? I would just say, you know, we're calling it not a focus. Um, we want to stay focused on really what what God has called us to do. So, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of distractions going on with the pandemic and just a lot of social unrest. Yeah. And uh, we're remaining focused on, on the mission of Adult and Teen Challenge. We want to keep putting hope within reach. We want to help people find freedom and experience sustained life transformation. Yeah. And uh, so... Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tyson and Jane. I really appreciate you guys and all that you're doing. That's all the time we have here on the Pulse of Spokane. I'm your host, Ryan Meza. Have a great day. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well-trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld.org. To help you be safe, Washington state law requires you to call 811 two full business days before you plan, for example, to dig, drill, plow, pull from, or pound anything into the ground. Be prepared to provide the operator with the correct address, cross street, and the description of your work. You must mark the dig area with white paint. The operator will inform you of the utilities notified of your impending excavation. Wait for all their marks. Be safe and dig with care. When building a home or considering a major remodel, who are you going to choose? The Spokane Home Builders Association is an organization that works to elevate professionalism in the residential construction industry. We promote, protect, and educate for our community, building our community one home at a time. We are the Spokane Home Builders Association. Hi, this is Kurt Stockwell with Well-Dressed Walrus. We are a local website design and development company here in Spokane. What we do is build beautiful, usable websites for local businesses. A website needs to be beautiful. It needs to be usable for your users, your customers, and yourself. Contact us anytime. We'd love to talk with you about your online marketing. Governor Inslee's edicts are not saving lives. They're killing businesses. How is it possible that in a nine acre park, I cannot have anybody here in a safe manner? Our employees are healthy. All our guests have been healthy. And the only thing unhealthy with this situation is Governor Jay Inslee's overreaching arm to shut us down. And that is what we're fighting for, to overrule a government that is trying to take over the lives of American citizens for their own benefit, for their own plans. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.